Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast, Lesson 8-3, Polygons. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by Vince Lombardi. He was uh, most famously probably known for being the coach of the Green Bay Packers and a really, a really good guy who had some, some good ideas about um, achieving success. He said, leaders aren't born, they are made, and they are made just like anything else through hard work. And that's the price we'll have to pay to achieve that goal or any goal. We talk about goals in math all the time. Our learning targets that we're trying to learn, our goal is to learn those learning targets. And we have individual lesson learning goals. And um, we have to work really hard to achieve um, those goals. But it's, it's, I think it's a lot of fun. And I think you'll enjoy working hard in geometry. Our learning goal today is to identify and classify polygons. Here are individual lesson learning goals to classify polygons and to identify polygons as regular or irregular. And you can see Coach Lombardi there getting lifted up on his player's shoulders. Our vocabulary. A polygon is a closed plane figure made up of line segments. That means a polygon will never have any curved sides, only straight lines for the sides. Um, it also means that all of those sides will be connected to each other. You won't have any openings. Um, it's totally closed. And you can remember what a plane is if you go back to your notes from last night or the night before and kind of review that. A regular polygon is when that particular polygon's sides are all exactly the same length. So when we talk about a triangle that is a regular triangle, it's going to be an equilateral triangle, meaning the sides are all the same length. Um, an irregular polygon has sides of different lengths and angles of different measures. Remember, we're just reviewing polygons here. A triangle has three sides, a quadrilateral has four sides, a pentagon has five sides, a hexagon has six sides, and an octagon has eight sides. When you look at those words, like the word triangle, the word tri actually means three. An angle would mean angle, so a triangle would mean three angles. Three angles, three sides. Think about other words that have the word tri in it, like tricycle or tripod. A tricycle has three wheels, a tripod has three legs. So those are just some different examples of things, of other things that have the word tri in them, meaning three. A quadrilateral, actually the word quad means four. Think about it. Quadruplets is for babies. We've even had some of those at Eagle Glen. It's been kind of exciting. Um, a quadruped has four legs. Lateral actually means sides, so quadrilateral means four sides. A pentagon, pen does, pent does mean five, but I can't think of any other words right now that would remind me that. But when you think of a pentagon, think of a view from the sky of the Pentagon in Washington. It is so cool. You can see a pentagon around the outside and then one on the inside as well. It's kind of neat to be able to actually visualize that in a real building. A hexagon has the word, the letter X in it. And that reminds me that a hexagon has six sides. So if you think hex, H-E-X, and then six, S-I-X, the X is the third letter in both. So that would mean that a hexagon has six sides. An octagon. Think of an octopus who has eight legs. Um, there's probably lots of octa words, but um, I can't think of any right now. So maybe you can think of some more words that begin with those prefixes at home and share them with us in class. We're going to do some classifying polygons. If you need to, go back and look at that vocabulary that you just studied, and that will help you. And you may have to do some counting. Classify the polygon to the right of the word polygon. Pause it and push play when you've written it down. Did you write hexagon? That shape, that polygon, has six sides. And we remembered that because the six has an X in it and the word hexagon has an X in it, a hexagon has six sides. Let's try another one. Classify the polygon just underneath the word polygon. Push play when you're ready. Did you write quadrilateral? Yes, I know that's a rectangle, but we were looking for the names of polygons, classifying polygons. So we have a four-sided shape, and that would be a quadrilateral because quad means four. One more. 
classify the polygon. Push play when you're ready. Did you write pentagon? I always think the word pent rhymes with tent, and that shape there looks a little bit like a tent. You've got the two eaves of the roof, and then the walls, and then the floor. Not all pentagons look like that. They don't have to look like that to be a pentagon, or a hexagon, or a quadrilateral. They just have to have six sides, four sides, and five sides. Straight sides, of course. Now we're going to practice with that regular or irregular. This is where you could end up with some shapes that don't look like the typical ones. Um, these are a little bit standard. In class, we'll see some that are a little bit stranger. Is that first shape regular or irregular? Write it down and then push play when you're ready. Did you write irregular? That's an irregular triangle because two of those sides are different lengths than the third side. Now, I don't always know, I don't always have a ruler with me, so I use my pencil. I would put my pencil, if this were the edge of the triangle right here, I would put my pencil up next to it and hold it at the end of the line. So I know that the length of my triangle would be this long. Then I would go to the other side and check it to see if it was the same length. In this case, it would be. But that short one at the bottom is only about maybe this long. And when I measure it, I can see that it's a lot shorter than the other sides. So even if you don't have a ruler, I would still measure the sides. Some of these polygons look like they're regular or irregular, and they're not. So check. When in doubt, check it out. Is that polygon regular or irregular? I would use my pencil just to hold it up to the computer, not touching the screen, but hold it up there and check it out. Push play when you've decided. Did you write irregular? Those line segments are not the same length. The sides have several different lengths. So it is an irregular, let's count the sides, one, two, three, four, five, pentagon, an irregular pentagon. Number six, regular or irregular? Push play when you're ready. Did you write regular? That's a rhombus. It's a square turned on its side in this case, and it's also a rhombus. So as we're looking at it, if we measure it with our pencil, all the sides are the same. Good job. Let's keep going. Here's our practice word problem. I chose that picture of Coach Lombardi because look at all those great lines and rays and endpoints on his diagram that he drew for football. Some of you guys may not realize how much geometry you might use if you were coaching or playing football. A regular pentagon has five angles that are all equal. If the total measure of the angles is 540 degrees, how many degrees is each angle of the pentagon? I want you to really think about this, decide what operation you would use. Pause it and push play when you've written it down and figured it out. Did you write 108 degrees? If it has five angles and the total measure is 540, then we would divide 540 by five. So we would get 108 degrees. Here's a really cool website. You can't click on this link, but you can write this down and then go see how you can make all of these different shapes using triangles. And you can learn some pretty advanced stuff about the measure of angles, too. Those of you who are challenging yourself, that website might help you on this question. If you have a regular polygon and the total measure of the angles is 720 degrees, how many degrees is each angle of the polygon? Name the polygon. How many sides does the polygon have? If one side of the polygon is 45 feet, what is the perimeter of the polygon? You might have to do some extra research to figure this out. You could look in your math text or you could Google it or you could go to websites. Show your work and explain your answer and come back tomorrow ready to check it. Finishing up, go ahead and review your goals. Write down if you're a one, two, or three level in your learning. Write down any questions you still have and awesome angles you have completed, lesson 8-3, polygons. Oh, that's kind of funny since this isn't the angle lesson, but there's angles in polygons. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.